Uh, good morning, students, uh, and assalamu alaikum. Uh, we actually have completed a lot of things in the class, but today we'll be using this uh, portal, uh, parents portal or the Facebook, that we'll be talking about one uh, more topic that's very important for your paper. I have chosen this time uh, the narrative writing. As you can see, uh, much of the thing has been written over there, but uh, I guess a lot has been to talk about. Uh, if we are talking about your uh, CI paper, then uh, we usually have in a 30 mark question two types of uh, questions. Number one, uh, sentence framing that we've been talking about one way or another in the class. And uh, that is another we are talking about in terms of a one particular uh, kind of an object, an angular, a roller, anything that could be around which you need to be a uh, narrative writing. If you look into that particular thing, for example, that you have seen and, and you, it comes up as the most popular question of your CI. And the uh, majority of the students uh, turn up and take it as uh, their the most uh, tempted question that they believe that they will be able to write on. Uh, in this case, we are talking about the sentence framing. Generally, we divide it into two phases, which is uh, one is the sentence framing and another is uh, in which any of this, any of these things, have taken these things. Number, I had not spoken to my sister for so long, but now I had to. Now, write a story in which a sentence is important in terms of that uh, I had not spoken to my sister. Now, this particular whole sentence within the tense, within that parameter that you can see has to be framed into it. Likewise, we are talking about uh, a story in which an envelope is important. It can be a wallet, it can be a passport, and these are the further examples of that. Obviously, we're not putting all of these things together in one, one particular uh, 400 to 500 words, whatever it, we are going to write about it. Uh, there are a few things that I would like to tell you. Yes, narrative is a kind of a thing that we are like, uh, we are urged or we are like tempted to write on, but not everyone can write it. So, uh, as a student, I must be a um, best judge of myself because there are certain elements that I'll be talking about here which are equally important if you can if you can justify those things only then you would be able to write it. Uh, I guess by now you have seen this thing. I'll be trying to weave something around it. This is something that has been uh, telling me the kind of thing. The moment that I see this question is I had not spoken to my sister. There should be some kind of a, uh, some kind of a, a plot, a theme or something that should come up with it. Uh, it's very important for me to just to see that where I can put it. But if I if I tell you about that, we are talking about a theme, we are talking about a setting, we are talking about the characters obviously, we are talking about the plot, we actually are talking about the conflict, we are talking about the climax and the resolution that was somewhere come here. Generally what happens that the students do not put all of these things into the frame. Like you, you, you start looking at that sentence and you start writing it. Let me tell you honestly, for everyone who's attempting CI paper of English, it's very important to plan. Please plan your question. You might not be able to do that within a span of like 45 minutes of this, all of these things. But if you keep practicing it, like for any of the uh, any of the situation that comes across uh, before your paper, even if you do not draw these kind of set patterns, you would be able to just say one thing or something of that of your own, definitely. Like if I look into this, this actually is putting me some kind of a dramatic thing. Like if I if I want to talk about this, this could be dramatic. This could be chivalry. This could be adventurous. And so on and so forth. This is how things are. I've written only three things. Now what if I look into this particular sentence framing, the first thing that, that clicks to my mind, and just to make you understand, that there should be something emotional in it. Because you've not spoken to your sister for so long, and now there's some kind of a chance that you're going to speak. There could be a family drama, there could be some kind of an emotion in it. So it could be. Now what exactly the thing is, you're talking about a rural, urban, countryside. Or you're talking about like within the local span of that, then you'll be talking about it. Or you'll be talking about as she's been uh, living uh, away from you, and that's abroad. Here comes like sister, you, any kind of like uh, thing, 
if you're talking about this particular plot is that uh, there could be family disruption it could be divorce it could be your wealth distribution anything of that sort conflict is over obviously if you're talking about you're the high you're the one who's the higher then that is the uh, and then climax is the highest point highest point of tension the last we'll be talking about how do you provide a kind of solution to it now if i go into the detail this has to be there keeping this thing in mind nothing of this nothing of this should be missed from your answer now definitely as an examiner or a teacher i'm not going to see that all of these things are there but there's a kind of a rhythm there's a kind of a flow that we talk about now if you see into these things more clearly these are just the stuff having to have written but it could be something wealth distribution it could be of a divorce it could be any other thing that your your uh, your uh, uh, sister chose to uh, leave uh, the traditional norms of uh, because your family belongs to a traditional side and they were not allowed to like go abroad based on the anything like it could be a country side traditional orthodox setup in which she was not allowed to take something for her for for herself as a, as a decision and she meant that and she she believed into that and she for education for job for uh, marriage for some reason she was not with you in the family for so long and she goes away anything in the family dramatic um out of the out of the blue just happens and you have to talk to her after so many years and you just bring that up so what i'm trying to say is this sentence has to be in your mind you talk about the how everything into all of these elements should be weaved around this whole pattern in other words what we are talking about is this sentence must be explained by you with all of these subheadings with all of these things with all of these clips that should be there with each paragraph that you're writing i should be opening another aspect of that character and talking about it so this is how things are the more i should be explained and i with each paragraph i as an examiner or your examiner must understand that you have given me another perspective of that that could be a descriptive now please there are certain don'ts of this narrative writing it was lovely here and the sun she was shining brightly the scorching heat apart from these usual startings or the cliche of that we call it the cliche of the narrative writing obviously we don't know alliterations and the train train and blah blah and all of those things we do not want that we do not want that because thousands and thousands of students are going to attend it and every single store for every single student if it is about like uh it was a lovely morning and start with that think about yourself that how monotonous it would be for the examiner to read after after every say, several or uh, a few of the scripts the same thing so the grading actually goes down down and down if you do not have anything the story must not be so much anticipating like even if i'm talking about the wealth distribution or the higher or any any of those things even the divorce there could be some kind of an emotional attachment that you had even if i'm talking about the, the most common thing that's divorce and if she happens to do uh, the the choice of her life if she shows herself and the family is against it it should become some kind of an emotional drama what she had been through what she had been the family did not know what she had been doing there for so long as you your brother as a brother or a sibling or in any other relationship and a friend had no clue about what exactly was happening in our life come out of that comfort zone of yours if narrative choice is and a narrative becomes your choice for the 30 marks do not give a very anticipatory kind of story to your examiner lastly i would like to say that it should not be between like 50 500 that you are going to touch that again and again we are telling you it's better to write 375 words and 400 words is something there is no point of there is no point that you exceed with that word if you are good enough and you can write on it you can always exceed but if you fall into the category of those students who actually are going to do it for for the for the service of the, like a dedic the more they write the more the chances are that they commit uh, errors so it's better not to do that it's better not to go for lengthening your story for nothing if it is, if, if if each paragraph is not giving it another thing is this becomes your dialogue 
I had not spoken or if you are not using it, if you are not using it for something, some kind of a, because I had not spoken to my sister, that could be a kind of a scenario. This particular thing, it cannot be framed into a dialogue when we look at it. You can put it into a situation. If you happen to write a dialogue in a story, there is no, there is no error in it. But there must not be two to three, more than three dialogues in a story. Because it, then it becomes, a, it, it becomes a dialogue, not a narrative writing. Because you say something, for example, hello mom, and she says hello. And you talk about it's time to have supper, and you've made my supper. Now this go, if this goes on, this becomes a dialogue. And from there, you actually uh, pull yourself apart from the narrative writing, which is not the case in, a, in an art. So, in, in, in other words, we are talking about this is particular thing. Now, the better thing is always, please do your mapping. If you can do it this way, pretty good. If you cannot do it, it's always good for mind map. Mind map. It's always good for mind map. For example, we are talking about the family property. For example, we are talking about the distance apart. For example, we are talking about the clashes. Now, the more you put into this particular small words, the more it becomes easier for making your paragraphs. And once you are done with it, you're talking about the dialogue framing. You're talking about the climax. Where any of the character, any character, has a, has a rebuttal to what you say. Or is against you. Now, once you talk about this thing, in other words, the flashback. Actually, the flashback is a very is a very uh, uh, appreciated technique. Now, when you put these things in a, as a mind map on the first page of your, I'm talking about your answer sheet. So it becomes easier. Because this, this is how it becomes a story. This is how it, it turns out to be. So you can start with a dialogue in the first place. You may start with a distance apart. Anything can be. Or you may start with a climax. Being your a clash, a rebuttal. That could be from any of your uncle, any of the thing, any weird character, any kind of thing. So that flashback technique can be taken up by you in any case. So this is how you put up into these things and you frame it. So the kind of coherence in your, the coherence is needed. The coherence is there in your work, so you can always see that. So once the most common thing that we, uh, in terms of uh, uh, students, what we see is that a paragraph is uh, describing the scene of the uh, of the atmosphere or around it, and the next you're talking about that the paragraph is uh, going into a story, and then you'll be talking about the third is all the things have to be linked. Each paragraph should be talking about it. So always mind map, mind map, and write clear and finish that up in a decent style. Resolution is equally important. I hope you'll be doing it. And this could be, and if you, lastly, before I leave, it's not the only question that you have in your examination. So if for one reason or another, you've not been able to frame any, any kind of a story in your mind does not come within the 45 minutes span, please go for the next one because it's got equal marks and you have got more liberty to arrange it in your way because you do not have to be with that way. A passport can be important, a necklace can be important. It, it provides you a whole lot of scenarios to write on, much much better and the, and the more complex uh, and, and, the, and the simple one in terms of this. I hope you would be able to do that and until the next time we meet. Thank you so very much.